We're joined today by Ian Warland, Managing Director of Cooper Metals. Ian, thanks for your time. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Key focus of the company is in the Mount Isa region of Queensland, very, very well known for copper gold. Taking a regional play, what's the focus and what's the work that's been done today? Right, well, uh, David, it's a great question. We, we've had the project now for about two and a half years, and we've got an extensive land position in that Mount Isa in Lyre block. So we've got 1,600 square kilometres of tenure. Uh, we're looking for copper gold mineralisation. And in that time, in that two and a half years, we've generated over 50 targets, and they range from geophysical targets, geochemical targets, old workings, and some con conceptual targets that we've designed from looking at the structures, the lithology, etc. So we've really generated a lot of targets. We've tested quite a few of those and hit a lot of economic intercepts. And we're still doing, we're just finished a drilling campaign just recently. As I said, taking a regional view on your tenement package, why is it important to look outside of maybe the, the main target areas where shareholders would expect you to look? Why is it important to look a little bit wider? It is very important because a lot of these areas while they've been explored for many years, a lot of have only had a cursory sort of look at them from a uh, stream sediment sampling or basic geochemistry work, but not a lot of drilling. So even though it's, you know, regionally we've got an extensive area, there's very, a real paucity of drill holes in the area. So we believe that by working the targets up um, uh, into groups of targets, so you might get six targets in, in, in an area of 10 kilometre radius, and then come in with a drill rig and do some scout drilling on all those prospects just to test them and then move through the region like that, uh, testing these different clusters of targets. And what are you hoping to achieve from this exploration activity? Well, we're really hoping for a copper gold discovery, of course. You know, we'd like to emulate companies like Carnaby Resources that now have over 20 million tonnes of, of ore that they've discovered in the last couple of years. And, and that's from uh, four different deposits, I understand. So we, we think it's realistic that we can find deposits that ranging from, 20, uh, from 2 million tonnes of ore to 20 million tonnes of ore. And then from that, it could either be a standalone operation or potentially toll treat for, through one of the other major companies in the area like um, Evolution, for instance, or AIC Mines, etc. Clearly a big goal. What's the work program look like? What should investors be focusing on over the next six to 12 months? Yeah, over the next six to 12 months, we've got uh, RC drilling results coming out shortly. So that'll be out in the next month. And that was some drilling that we did on four different prospects. So we'll be releasing that information. We're also doing some geophysics, uh, some EM, uh, on our Kwankari project. We call it the Arindi project. It's near the Eloise mine and it's never had any geophysics over that area before. So we're looking for big targets there and we'll be drilling any EM anomalies that we discover. And importantly, you're well funded. We're very well funded. We've just recently done a capital raise. So at the end of the March quarter, we had $4.5 million. We're quite a lean and mean company. We're a small company. We put that money into the ground. So that will get us a, a lot of targets generated and tested with drilling. Chasing big targets in a very well-known jurisdiction, a clear focus on exploration and achieving results. Exciting times ahead for Cooper Metals and its shareholders, Ian. Thanks for your time. Right, thank you very much.